So you could really just keep doing this every single day and watch your followers increase over 30 plus and more every single day. Watch your followers rise. It is guaranteed. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Hands to the sky. Eyes wide unified. Peace, oh please. It's obvious. I am a musician, I am a rapper, producer, and a marketer as well. So I want to let you guys know what are some of the ways that I have built my following on Instagram. Alright, so this video is intended for musicians and artists and producers, but this can be applied for just about anybody. And stick around to the end of the video because I have a secret, a secret tip that I've never seen anybody talk about. I've never seen any, any YouTube video talk about this tip right here that I'm going to be showing you towards the end of the video. So stick around. Let's start with three ways that you can start building your Instagram following now. All right, what are we going to do? All right, so I got a method. It's, this is the SCE method. What is that? Search, consume, and engage. When you're trying to grow your audience, you don't want to be sitting around waiting for people to come to you. You don't want to you don't want to wait. All right? Cuz no one's going to come to you. All right? Well, maybe they will, but if <laughs> you have what say 100 followers or 200 whatever and you're making music, you're putting out these songs and people just aren't listening. You're not getting the likes, the reposts. People, you're just not building the buzz. What's going on? Are you waiting around for people to just come to you first? Are you just waiting and hoping, praying that people are gonna catch on to you? Cause this is a mistake. You need to start reaching out towards other people. I mean, sure, it might have worked for some people. I'm not really sure who, but you need to start getting out there. You need to start putting your face out there. You need to get into people's face and make them like you. Make them want to listen to your music. How are you going to make people listen to your music? All right, we're not forcing anybody, but here's three ways that you can start building your following. All right, what's the SCE method, right? Search, consume, engage. All right, you're gonna first, you need to, you're gonna need to find some people. How are you gonna find people? You can do hashtags. Put in hashtags for things that you're interested in, things that relate to you, something that goes along with your theme. Who are you? What are these hashtags that can represent you? Okay, you could do musician, hashtag musician, hashtag independent artist, hashtag uh, rapper, hashtag singer, Hashtag conscious rapper, hashtag spiritual rapper, hashtag gangster rap, hashtag folk rap. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but so along the lines of the search strategy, find artists that are similar to you. Find people that are similar to you and engage with their fan base. People that are really, people that are huge fanatics of this artist, they might be a big fan of you. You just really gotta show that you want to be their friend show that you want to build a relationship with them this way you're getting fans of people who like artists that you like it's perfect <laughs> but hold on that's what that's we're saying don't don't just engage by dropping some comment like thumbs up or one of these or the hundred don't just post some flame emojis look Consume the content after you've been searching for this content. Let's not just waste your time here. Consume the content. Watch if they got videos, watch the videos. They have posts. Look look at many aspects of the post. Read the caption and then think about it a little bit. Post something. Comment on that post and make sure that it's it's meaningful make sure try to make it actually something more in more important or more engaging than just cool or thumbs up fuego um, say something like nice I love the way that you use the synth at 50 sec uh, 50 seconds or I love the way you transition into 
the bridge or I love the way that you say this word or that word. I love the message. I love the theme about blah 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 blah. I think that blah 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 and then maybe even ask a question. But you want to start building a conversation with people. So after you've been searching for these people with the hashtags, you really want to fall, you want to make conversation after you've consumed their content properly. Don't just drop a flame emoji, okay? Build a conversation, let's build a discussion. Don't you want fans that want to really engage with you, people who like, want to follow you on a deep level Pe people that are really engaged in your music people who want to share this music with people people that want to give you comments about how they're actually consuming your content right once you're showing that you have an interest in somebody else then they'll be likely to have an interest in you. This is how friendships work. Try to make a friendship, you know? This is, don't, don't be selfish and just not respond to other people. Show people, be a fan of other people so that they can be a fan of you. So you're gonna search, you're gonna search for people. You're gonna use all kinds of hashtags that you're interested in, that your music revolves around and then you're gonna consume their content. Consume it, read it thoroughly, and comment something not so shallow like just an emoji. Build a discussion, conversation with these people. So you're gonna search for people using the hashtags, things that relate to your music. You're gonna consume the content. Really thoroughly watch, read the posts, and then you're gonna engage. You know, like their posts and also don't just don't just like the posts. Build a discussion, build a conversation, and then what else can you do after you've you've after you've done all that? You can send them a DM. Send them a DM. If you really if you really like this person, you you really dig in what they what they're posting about, and you potentially want them to be your fan, go into the DMs and leave leave a nice comment build start building a conversation with the person in the DMs show people that you want to be a friend show people that you want to actually converse and have a meaningful relationship because if you can make an emotional connection with people by reaching out yourself that's one of the best ways that you can build a fan base and I've done it myself so I mean I don't have the most amount of followers, but what what really works for me, I, I would just be sitting there, right, engaging, I would be doing the SCE strategy, and from just an hour, I would get like 30 or more followers. Just from doing this for an hour, I would get 30 more followers, and I would be doing this like daily, so I'd be getting 30 followers here, 30 followers there. I mean, you gotta be really consistent. Keep doing this every single day and watch your followers increase over 30 plus and more every single day. But you really gotta put in work. This is not, this is no shortcut strategy. This is not for the lazy, okay? You really gotta work and start building these connections, start building these relationships. That's what this is about. You wanna build a fan base, start building deep connections with these people, okay? And so what is the secret tip that I have for you guys? What is the secret tip? I've never seen anybody talk about this. I don't know why. I, I think it's so cool. It's a really great way to build your fans. Instagram. Instagram Live. What is so cool about Instagram Live? So say there's a particular big artist out there that has a similar style to you. That may have similar, any anything, similar vocals, similar lyrics, message. Anyone who's kind of like you, go onto their, if you see them pop up on Instagram Live, hop in there. And then once you hop in there, okay, this is the thing about Instagram Live that is so, so important, is that people that are going on to these artists' Instagram lives is 
These people are deeply engaged. These people care. The people that are going on the live are the ones that are real fans. Maybe not all, but a lot of the people that are going on to the music artist Instagram live, they are big fans. They are deeply engaged with this artist. Instagram live, it is li it's live. If people want to actually take time out of their day to just tune into what you're doing live, that means they're engaged, they care. So if you want to build a big following, look at these, go into these live streams that people are doing on Instagram and start engaging with these people. See, I haven't heard anything, anybody talk about this, but engage with these people, start joining the conversation. What is the Instagram live we're talking about? What is this? <laughs> What is this musician talking about in his Instagram live? Join the conversation as much as you can and talk to the people that are in the Instagram live. Engage with them, form a discussion in this environment because these people are highly engaged. If they're highly if these people are highly engaged with this artist, they might be highly engaged in you. So that's why you need to start really working and this is no lazy technique. This is no shortcut technique, okay? You need to really get in there. And another thing you can do is sometimes Instagram live streams, they might be going, they might have a lot of people, so the comments will go really quick, you know? And you might want to catch all these people. The thing about live stream is you can't just click on people's profiles. You can't just click on people's profiles and start engaging with them right Instagram live it for some reason it doesn't let you click on their profiles so once you screen record them after the live stream you'll be able to see all the people that are highly engaged with this artist and then you can go in there and then you can go to their profiles and do the S C E strategy you're gonna search for, go through all these people consume their content and engage show people love that is key you know don't be selfish, show love, spread the love, actually care about these people. You know, if you want if you want a fan, someone who is a fanatic of you, you better be grateful. You better be grateful that people are this ecstatic about you. So show them love, comment, comment and form a relationship, a discussion with them, thoughtful, meaningful comments, DM them. And watch your followers rise, watch your fans rise. I got a lot of engaged people with me, a lot of people who care about my music, who are always listening to my music, telling me how much they love it. People are now posting my music on their stories. People are sharing the, my music with their friends. I have a fan that has told me that I have changed their life, that I have actually made them a happy person. It might not have ever happened that I would have got, it might not have ever happened that I've gotten this fan if I didn't perform the SCE strategy, if I didn't search, if I didn't consume, and then really engage with this person, right? Because I was open to actually going out there and trying to find these people, I was able to find such fans like this. And you will too. If you keep, if you have good music and you show people that you care and you show people love, then they're going to show love back. Be genuine. Be real with people and watch your fans, watch your followers rise. It is guaranteed. So work hard, try this out for yourself and let me know if it works for you because I know it has worked for me. I actually got fans that deeply care about me because I went through this, went through this process. So try it out for yourself and let me know how it goes. Comment, share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to me if you want more of this kind of content. So peace, oh please, it's obvious.